Hello ladies and ladies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Today I'm going to be bringing you a makeup tutorial where I go from this lovely little creature to this beautiful orange Cheeto. Just a forewarning, I fucked this up really bad but then I fix it so hold on tight, it's worth it in the end. Here is my wig from Weekend Wigs, they were nice enough to send it to me, thank you. I'm just going to pop that on my already bald head, I do not need a wig cap. And then we're going to tie it in a ponytail to keep the hair out of the way. I use the got to be glued spiking glue to stick it down. I'm just going to push the wig out of the way of my hairline and then smear that glue along there to get it all in there and sticky, you know. Then just with my fingers I'm going to pop that onto the glue and push it in so it stays where it's meant to be. And then just to seal the deal we're going to use my hair dryer heat that shit up and lock it in place. My wig is very clockable, I get it, doesn't need to be good. Then I put a nice little headband on and start doing my makeup. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade in the shade Chocolate. First, I'm gonna go under my non-existent eyebrows and sketch out the bottom shape. Then I'm going to go over the top and do the same, kind of filling it in at the same time. I like to push quite hard. Now, using upward motions, I'm just going to imitate hair at the front because obviously I have none. Now they look awful. I look beat, whatever. I'm going to use the Born This Way concealer in a shade I can't remember and just go under that eyebrow very, very, very carefully. I value this part a lot because I'm actually very bad at filling in my eyebrows. This part fixes everything. It's a lifesaver. Once I've carved out that line of concealer, I'm gonna go under it and just blend the line out so it's easier to kind of mesh into my regular old skin later on. Now I have in my hands a tiny little beauty blender which I'm going to use to blend out that concealer. This is from Real Techniques. I got it in a set of beauty blenders. It is a must-have, so freaking useful, I cannot recommend it enough. Now for the top of my brow, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade, I think, Light. And the reason I am doing this with foundation is because on the top of the brow, I don't want to have this really light patch. I want it to kind of meld in with my foundation better, and I find the coverage is essentially just the same. Then I'm going to go over it with the same Beauty Blender and blend it into the skin, making sure it looks pretty natural, which I guess, since this is such a natural look, is so important. Oh my god, wow, I'm so cute. They're average, but they'll do. Now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and with my finger just kinda rub it around my eye. I really like this primer because it is color correcting as well, which means I don't have to layer primer over concealer. I find it separates and gets all goopy and weird. I don't really like it, but this solves that problem. I'm gonna put that under my eye as well because I had plans to make this a kind of all around my eye look. You'll see what happens with that later. Now I'm going to go in with my Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to take the bright orange shade up in the top corner and just kind of sketch out a V along my eye where the crease is and then along the side. Um, I don't really know what part of my eye that is, but I so recommend this eyeshadow palette. It is incredible, so pigmented, so creamy, unbelievable James Charles is quaking in his boots. Anyway, I'm taking that shadow and just putting it right under my eye as well. Just carrying that down and making a crap ton of mistakes. We're kind of making an almond shape with the eyeshadow, winging it out on the side and kind of curving it in in the inner corner. I don't know, I'm just kind of just smearing eyeshadow on my face and hoping it works out. Dun da da da! It's the James Charles and Morphe Brushes palette. <laughs> Now, James does not deserve this, but I am taking the light neutral shade from the top corner and just blending out that orange. Just gonna go in, make sure the line isn't as harsh. It looks a bit beat right now, but she'll get better. Now I'm gonna take concealer on the same brush I did my eyebrow with 
And for some reason, I am going to carve out that inner corner into a kind of like knife tip. It's gonna start from kind of the center of my nose-ish and just wing it out. You see what I'm doing. I don't really know how to word it. And now I'm gonna take the same eyebrow brush and carry that along all the way along the bottom right to where my hairline is. I'm being really cautious with this, but spoiler alert, it doesn't matter later on. You do not, if you're following this, you don't have to do this. There are so many ways to easierly, easierly, whatever, achieve the look that I did. Now we're gonna hop right on in with that same old beauty blender and just buff out that edge so it doesn't dry down really weird and crispy, you know how it is. Now I'm going to take the orange shade from the Morphe palette and brighten up that orange on my eye, kind of adding the two together so that you get the pigment from the Juvia's Place palette, but the brightness and the shade of the James one. Now going in with a little paintbrush from the dollar store, I'm going to sketch out a V along the outer edge of my eye. It kind of looks like almost inverted eyeliner in a way, just kind of erasing that, it's like a backwards cut crease. I'd have no idea what to call that, but it looks kind of cool. It is like eyeliner, but opposite. And I'm gonna take concealer on a bigger brush after that and just smear it all across my lid, making sure there's no orange left there. This part is obviously so professional and you have to be so careful where you put the concealer because it looks like I'm doing such an immaculate job. Then my trusty beauty blender comes back into the hand and I'm just gonna blend that out. Applying the MAC Paint Pot again over the top, making sure that we can get super good color payoff from the James palette. We are going in with, you're kidding, the best red eyeshadow ever formulated. I'm gonna place that on the inner area of my eyelid and blend that with great difficulty into the orange above it. This was hard because the bases between them were different, so it took a lot of work, but it's possible. Then I'm gonna go over that little wing bit with just a plain, plain old shadow. Now for my skin, I'm using the Milk Makeup Matte Foundation. Fun fact, the shade of this foundation is in golden light, and my name, Aurelia in Latin, means golden light. It's like it was made for me. It is slightly too pale, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me. I'm just gonna apply that with padding strokes with my beauty blender. I'm using this fat ass beauty blender from Real Techniques. Thank you, Thomas Halbert. It's actually a body sponge. Am I even using it in this? Who knows? I'm pretty sure it's huge, and it gets the job done very fast. Oh God, I'm so cute. Now I'm using the Laura, um, Laura, Laura Merce, Laura Merci, Laura, Laura Merce, Laura, Laura Mercier setting powder. Just setting my face with it. Moving on from that catastrophe, I am using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in a very light shade, and I'm just gonna take that under my cheekbones. Fun fact, for my bronzer, I use the Kim K3. I saw a video on it once. You just kind of take it around the um, forehead, into the temple, around the cheek, and then down the jaw in the shape of a three, and it changed my life. I don't usually like the Kardashians, but she may be snapped with this one. On to my favorite part of the contouring process, my nose. I'm using a flat brush from Real Techniques and I take it down the sides of my nose and pretty close and then I draw a kind of three around the tip of my nose to make it look like better than it is. And I'm gonna take a fluffy Morphe brush and just blend it out around there so it doesn't look so harsh. This butt bronzer is so light so it doesn't really matter if I make any mistakes because it kind of blends in with my skin and looks super natural anyway. Now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush True in the shade Peachy Love, and I'm taking that just above my contour to give myself a little bit of glow. Now, using the shade Ring Light from the James Charles palette, I'm just gonna pop that on my cheekbones. It gives a kind of like nice bronzy glow. I really like it. For my lips, I'm using the NYX lip liner in the shade Brown, and I'm just gonna take that 
on the outer thirds of my lips, just along the bottom. I feel like this gives my lips a little bit more definition, it makes them look a little thicker, like there's something going on there, because I have a weird ass mouth. But yeah, I'm just going to take the pencil, blend that out along the edges. It's going to look really harsh, but later on, I do go in with my fingers and blend that out a little bit. I know, my fingers for my makeup, how dare I? Now I'm taking the Chi Chi Chandelier Lip Gloss in the shade Rich Biatch. I like this one because it's kind of reddish. It just has like red reflex in it. I think it's such a pretty gloss. I got it in a set with a liner and a lipstick, but I don't really wear red lipstick, so not a win for me. This, my beautiful friends, is a wonderful moment when I realized that the look actually really sucks. So, here we go. I am taking the same concealer that I used under my eyes, the Born This Way one, and just going right over that super ugly, harsh line. Now I'm taking my Bigums Beauty Blender and just blending that line out. I'm not really bothered if it goes into the shadow because here I am reapplying the orange shadow under my eyes and blending out that line. And I'm just buffing everything and making sure it looks okay. And of course, we're just gonna reapply the highlight and now using the wet palette from the Bretman Rock and ColourPop collab, I'm going to take this silver shade and pop it right in my inner corner. Now using the shade Flare from the Morphe Liquid Eyeshadow Trio, I'm going to go around that little wing on the outside of my eye with that to kind of define it because glitter fixes everything. I'm sure you guys know that. Now I'm feeling myself. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to use the Worth the Hype Mascara from NYX. And let me tell you, this is worth the hype. Like, they did not brand this wrong. It is such an incredible mascara. It really just, like, separates your lashes perfectly and makes them look really full while not looking clumpy. Kind of gets all the good things. I don't know. I don't know how to word how good it is but it is really good i cannot recommend it enough alongside that it's really cheap and the look is done i feel like we have been through hell and back together it started out looking really bad but now here i am i cannot get enough of myself i feel so pretty so gorgeous i'm living my orange fantasy and loving every second of it oh my god the gloss the glitter we love her if you liked this video, please drop a like below, subscribe to me, press the bell notification if you would like to be notified next time I post once in a friggin' blue moon. I'm trying to get my shit together, post more often, so hopefully you will be seeing more of me. I hope you guys liked this look. Let me know what I did right, what I can do better. We can only go up from here, guys. I love you. Thank you. See you next time.